Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Team of the Year is fast approaching, and we need to talk about how you can prepare for this year's Team of the Year promotion inside of FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. We're going to talk about more of a broadened approach today, and then we're going to go in some other videos after this and specifically look at different areas of the market and just talk about, you know, out of packs in forums, talk about the team of the year cards themselves, talk about SBC fodder investing and all the content that comes out in this game of FIFA during the team of the year time period. But today, we're going to kind of gloss over the whole thing as a whole, and then we'll take a look at those individual sections in separate videos later. But the real thing I want to talk about today is as we are in this, you know, the beginning of this week leading up to team of the year, whenever it is this Friday, next Monday, a week from today, whatever day that it is. Um, I want to just talk about getting our minds right and knowing where we want to go. Each and every single person watching this video has a different FIFA Ultimate Team account with different amount of coins, different amount of untradeable players that they have packed, different amount of players that they have keep they plan on keeping in their team for a long time, right? Different reds, different icons, right? Different SBCs that they have completed, and honestly, different goals and different objectives inside of this game. So. That's what we're talking a lot about today is figuring out where you want to go with your account this year during team of the year, what your goals are, what you want to do and how you're going to attain those goals, right? So there's like three main things that I think a lot of people like to do during team of the year, right? Obviously, number one is they like to open upgrade packs, right? We all like to open packs. And how are you doing that right now? What can you be doing right now to get yourself packs to get ahead of the game on packs? And also, um, how many coins do you realistically want to put towards packs, right? That's tar that's why this whole planning thing is so important. It's important. It's all about account management and coin management and using your coins in the areas uh, where they can be the most beneficial to you to help you reach where you want to go on this game. So, of course, speaking of like upgrade packs, right? Let's talk about opening upgrade packs during team of the year. What do people do with upgrade packs? Well, they open the ones that EA put out for us. And last year, of course, we had all of the league upgrade packs. I would expect those to drop again this year with rare gold requirements. Probably not by league, right? You probably won't have a league requirement for those uh, packs because they did not have those last year during team of the year. Those happened during team of the season. And I hope they don't up, uh, release those upgrades this year with the league specific rare gold upgrades. But one thing you can do right now to get ahead of the game for that is to stock your club with rare gold golds whether that be by going unassigned or whether just like buying a card putting it in the club rare golds are already a bit inflated um but the earlier you get on this honestly it might be the better if we're if you're watching this right away early in the week before team of the year uh, again of course you've already got these Premier League rares that are up to 900, 950 coins that are instantly selling on the market. Basically, you have to pay 1K to get these golds from the Premier League because people are already starting to stack these in their untradeable. So, you know, if you go even and look at like the Bundesliga golds as well, right? There's still about a thousand coins, maybe a little bit less for some of the Bundesliga golds. I think people like to buy the Premier League golds first because they expect just in case there is a league requirement most team of the years will be premier league um or the predominant um number of players in the team of the year squad should be from the prem so you have people buying those rares more often than not just in case but stocking your club with rares would be a great way to start your upgrade pack grind and stuff like that other things to consider when you're going to be opening a lot of packs for team of the year how many coins do you have how many coins do you want to spend on packs and do you want to do anything else with your club, right? I've got about 2.1, 2.2 million coins as of right now. I'm probably going to spend somewhere between 1 to 1.2, 1.3 million coins on upgrade packs, which doesn't seem like a lot, but with crafting, that's going to turn into a lot of packs because these packs will give you a lot of players in return. You'll be able to put those players into other SBCs, whether those be league SBCs or whether those be other upgrade packs that are out in the game. Uh, and if you do want to do league SBCs while you're opening these league upgrade packs that will be out during team of the year, one thing you're going to want to do to prepare ahead of time is wait for a time on the game, whether it's rivals rewards, squad battle rewards, 
wait for a time on the game where some silver supply will come onto the market. And if you're wanting to do Premier League League SBC or the Bundesliga League SBC with the extra players you pack, start getting those silvers that you need. Stock your club with silvers that you will need to complete these League SBCs if you do want to craft those because these guys will get expensive during team of the year as people look to buy the silver cards and some of the non-rare golds that are very um and mostly just silver cards because they're not getting packed through upgrades um that make these SBCs completable right there's a lot of silver card silver cards like for the premier league league SBC west brom has like silver cards that are that have been extinct for a long time because they you know they're literally not on the market and if you have a chance to snag some of those or to snag some silvers at a cheaper price than what they usually go for before team of the year starts, that could be a good way to, pre to prepare your club for doing upgrade packs, right? Let's talk about other things that people like to do during team of the year. They like to buy a team. People like to buy teams, buy players, because a lot of prices drop around team of the year with all the packs being opened and a lot of cards coming onto the market and a lot of different, um, you know, saved up packs being opened as well. That's a lot of supply for this game as well. We've seen a lot of prices drop off, right? And we talked about it. We said, hey, we're still waiting on some big time panic for a like buy time for a lot of these cards. But the number one thing you can do to get prepared, to get ready, to figure out what cards you want to buy for your team, if it doesn't include any team of the year players in that squad that you wanna buy, or if it does, just make a concept squad, right? Make a concept squad, you know, for like my personal team, right? I kind of want to buy like maybe a Conte, right? A Conte would be a very nice addition to my midfield. I kind of want to upgrade my left back. So my, my I might look into buying like, you know, uh, some form or version of a Premier League left back at some point in this game or another left mid. Like I might try to get a special version of like Hyunmin Sun's in form, right? For my team, because I want to upgrade my Premier League squad. So what I'm going to do is I might make a concept squad. And instead of having Zaha here at left mid, I would add Hyunmin Sun in, or I would add Paul Pogba, or I would add Kante if I want to add those players to my team. And that way you kind of have a concept squad set out and you can start to lay out your plan for that time frame of team of the year. And one thing you can do when you have a concept squad is you can keep track of that player's price by using the compare price feature on the game. And you know, as you have a concept squad made out and as you kind of formulate a plan for what you wanna do and the players that you wanna buy for that team, start to kind of figure out a target price for where you see that card going or you know let's see like right now mbappe maybe you got you want to buy mbappe for your team right you're one of the unlucky people like myself who have not been able to pack this card this year that so many other people have packed now mbappe's been dropping down right black friday he was 1.3 mil early december 1.3 mil the dude is literally 835,000 coins right now um, you know, maybe you set a target price on PlayStation for this card at around like low 800s. There's been sell off, but there's probably still a little more, more, more panic to go. Maybe you see 810, maybe you see 805 and you know, he might go down to 799 at his absolute lowest of lows, right? But if you buy at 810 and he goes all the way back to 870 or 880 after Black Friday, then you're happy, right? You got a good price on that card. And that's the whole point of buying during this time frame is when everybody sells before team of the year is you get that low price and a lot of stuff that is meta, that is popular, a lot of people like to play with rebounds after that. So again, plan out your team, pick, pick out what cards you wanna buy, right? Make a concept squad, add those cards to your transfer targets and watch their price a lot over this next week, right? Over this next week where we have potential panic with the actual team of the year release. If you wanna buy this headliners Hyunmin Sun, right? Guys playing really well in real life. Could Spurs put four wins together and this card get a plus one for that? Probably not. You know, as a Spurs fan, we're not playing that great all the time. Not very consistent, but Sun scores goals. The probability of him getting another inform in the next month or two is probably very high. So that makes this a great card to low key invest in and put on your team at the time. And that's kind of lead me into my next point is investing during team of the year. And again, as you're thinking about how many coins you have and what you want to do during team of the year, maybe start to set some increments, right? I want to spend 2 mil on my team. I want to spend 1 million on upgrade packs and the rest of my coins, another 500 K to a million coins. I want to invest, or I want to be trading with those coins during team of the year, right? That's a good way to kind of split it up, right? Split it up between those three categories. 
for your foot club and your goals and what you want to do on this game. Because also the investing in buying a team or building a team, those can overlap a little bit, right? Because you might want to buy some road to the final cards for your team. Let's say you're going to build a Premier League team and you want to have road to the final Musa Sissoko because you think Spurs are going to do well in the Europa League. I keep using Spurs as an example. I am a Spurs fan, no bias. But let's say you, you want to add this, this card to your team, right? And you wanna, you're want you waiting for some panic because you want to add this guy to your team because you think it's a good investment, but also you want to use him in your squad, right? So that would be an, an example of an investment, but also adding to your squad. So just kind of figure out what that increment looks like for you, how many coins you want to spend in each area. But if we're talking pure investments, right? Wow, Griezmann is very, very low. The biggest thing I'll tell you with pure investments, the stuff that rises after Black Friday team of the year, not Black Friday, the stuff that rises after team of the year the most is the stuff that is popular, meta, and OP, honestly. Those three things, like we look at this popular players page on Footbin, right? You click on popular right here on footbin.com, and it shows you the players that people are looking at all the time. I can tell you that all these versions of Rashford, St. Maximin, uh, this Ben Yedder, Renato Sanchez inform, those are the, the guys that are consistently and constantly in this page because they're the most used players in FIFA, right? We use this PGP page, player game performance, right? Uh, let's go sort by number of games. This is a, look at this, Rafael Varane, 19 million games played. Rashford, 18 million. Paul Pogba, 16 million. Now these are gold cards, right? We're not really looking at gold cards as typical investments because those cards just kind of tinker and go downwards throughout the rest of the year. But look, first in form, Renato Sanchez, 9 million games played. Marcus Rashford in form, 6 million. Uh, Thomas Partey, once to watch, 6 million games played. Alan St. Maximin in form, 6.7 million games played. This is a perfect place to figure out what some meta informs might be or out of pack special cards might be that you could buy up and add to your team as out of packs investments, right? Or if you just look at a lot of cards on out of packs informs and special cards, wrote to the finals, you know, the special teams like the freeze cards, the record breakers, the rule breakers, very, very rare items, right? Bernardo Silva, I love this card as a post team of the year rise. Five or four star skills, four star weak foot, position change, and the links here are incredible. He links to Bruno, um, he links to Joao Felix and all the other Portuguese players that we've had. Cristiano Ronaldo, you know, like this is a perfect team of the year link with the city links as well. De Bruyne possibly getting a team of the year. Like that's a card that I would keep my eye on. This Casemiro, right? Position change. Position change cards do really well rising out of packs after promos. Dembele, right? Alan St. Maximin position change as well. Like. The cards that are, again, showing up in this popular page and on the PGP graphs are the ones that you're going to want to buy as pure investments because those are going to rise the most because those are the ones that people want to buy for their teams, right? Road to the finals this year are going to be massive, massive buys, and I already touched on that, but I think road to the finals are going to be massive buys because, of course, these cards are so rare. The Champions League competition is going to be happening very soon after team of the year ends, and there's going to be a lot of eyes on that. So that could be like the perfect quick bang for your buck investment during team of the year. Headliners as well, live items. Live items always do very well out of packs um, after a huge promo. And again, like these record breaker cards are so rare in this game, right? Vardy, this Van Dyke, right? This is a card. He's going to get a team of the year. This guy is a almost like dinosaur level on this game. If you look at his sales history on the PlayStation, this guy sells all over the place because he's so rare. People just have to find a price and buy him wherever they see him if they want him for their team, right? He literally sells at 1.14 million coins. And then how long after is this? A few hours later, he sells for literally 130,000 coins less. Then he sells for 90K more. Then he sells for 90K less. Like this guy bounces around a ton. This Van Dyke card, he's probably getting a team of the year. He might not get any other specials until the spring. If EA does like a foot birthday and they give Van Dyke a special card for that, that's a possibility. But since Van Dyke is injured, he'll get a team of the year. This is the next best special card that he has. And, you know, he's got a pretty decent upgrade, especially for the passing over his gold card. 
So this will, this card will maintain a lot of value and probably re rebound very well out of team of the year after he hits a low point. So that's a card that you could say would probably be a good investment, right? Team of group stage De Bruyne that we were just looking at, right? He got a team of the year card last year. I think this was his best item that was in the game while the team of the year came out. And look at this rebound. He was 470,000 coins before team of the year. Dipped down 100K to 370 at his absolute lowest. And then a month later after team of the year, rose up 583,000 coins. He literally went up, he went from 470, 370 to 580. He went up 200K in the period of about three weeks after team of the year because there was hype around KDB. He had an insanely nuts team of the year card and people wanted to use KDB. They just couldn't afford that team of the year item. So they go and buy the lower tier specials of that card, right? I think Conte, um, and I'm not sure if this was FIFA 19 or FIFA 20, but Conte's informs did very well in that time frame as well. So that's kind of what you're looking for when you're looking to invest in cards. And again, we're going to go really specific, really specific. We're going to go into the ins and the outs of investing, of upgrade packs, of buying teams. I didn't even talk about SBC fodder, right? Investing in SBC fodder is going to be fantastic. This is 88 PK from last year jumps up a little bit right before team of the year as like this week they put out content last year they put out like icon sbcs and stuff he dropped down with the pack supply and then rebounds after team of the year big time because everybody is doing sbcs because there's still icon sbcs going on more promos came out that happened in fifa 19 as well so there's a massive um sbc fodder inflation after huge promos like that because so many people have coins and ea put out content and people spend their coins on that content. So we'll talk about a specific video on SBC fodder as well. But that's kind of the beginning and the basics of team of the year preparation, right? Getting that mind right, figuring out what you want to do with your club based on how many coins you have, what your goals are, right? Some people in this game, they just want to get messy, right? Some people in this game want to buy team of the year Ronaldo, very different goals, right? Some people want to open 5 million coins of upgrade packs. Some people just want to make more coins over team of the year so they can have more coins for like team of the season or something. Figure out what your goals are, set a plan, make a concept squad, add players to your transfer targets, start watching prices and ask questions, right? Drop some questions down in the comments. If you have any of those questions, um, I do my best to get to some comments every single day and try to help those out. But yeah, boys, get that mind right. And pre preparation is key, right? Setting goals, going through what we just talked about, figuring out what's best for you and what you want to do on this game. But team of the year is coming soon. So get that preparation done fast, get it in. And it's going to be a fun time, boys. It's going to be a very fun week, especially once the team of the year starts next week. But if you enjoyed this video and if it helped you out at all, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace.